Hey artists, follow along with me today to make your own birch tree forest. We use tape so we can go ahead and paint that amazing background and then we add the details to the trees after. Okay, so we start with our piece of paper and we're gonna put some tape down to keep the paper white while we paint around it. So I've got a thinner piece of tape and then I've also got thicker tape. I like to do about two of the thicker trees and then, you know, three to five of these smaller trees. So I take my piece of tape and it's gonna go from the top of the page to the bottom of the page. And I wanna, you know, make sure it's pushed on there. And some of it will hang off, if you can see, a little bit, not a big deal. And then I'm gonna make another tall, big tree on my page with this wider wider tape then I'm going to get the thinner tape and add some other trees next to it so I might have like a tall thin tree here this one's easier to peel off and then you just kind of rip it at the bottom and then maybe I have another tall skinny tree over here and then some of them might be hidden a little bit by the leaves and stuff. So what I like to do is I make like a one that just kind of goes, let's see, up here at the top. Maybe it goes to the top, but it doesn't go all the way down. So you could have some that stop kind of here and you could have some that kind of just stop in different places. And then when we have all those leaves we paint, it'll just look like it kind of disappears behind the leaves. So I can take this one and put it down. There we go. So what you can see here is I have tape of different widths, some wide ones and some thinner ones. Some going all the way top to bottom to show that the trees just grow right off the page and out of sight. And some that are going to be, you know, stopping on the page to show that they are kind of hidden behind some of the brush. So once you get your tape on here, ready to go, the next step is to add the paint. Okay, friends, this is where it gets fun. So I've got a palette of some of those fall leaf colors that I know, you know, the reds, oranges, yellows, a little bit of green still, some of the leaves are turning brown. Even some leaves start to get that reddish purple color. So I added a little bit of purple and also a dab of gold because gold paint makes things look so awesome to me. So what we're going to do, I don't want to use water with the tempera paint because if we use water, it will start to look watery. So we're going to start with kind of lighter dabs of color and kind of move through our colors here. So we are just creating that background putting dabs of color right onto our paper. And what's cool is when we hit the, the tape, it's just not even going to go in those spots. So I can go right here in the middle. So just kind of put some yellow all around. There's gonna be some yellow leaves here and there and everywhere. So just kind of going along here. Don't be afraid to go to the edge of the page. I will have some paper under you so you won't get it all over the table. So I'm just dabbing this yellow all in here to show those beautiful yellow leaves. Making sure to get right up to the edge of the tape. And once I'm done dabbing this yellow on, add some orange and then you just kind of dab that around and the more you dab your brush the more paint comes off and then it's going to get lighter and as it starts to dry out and get lighter then you can kind of tap over here to kind of blend those together so just dabbing right on there adding some orange into our background. And 
And it just looks like blobs now, but I tell you what, once we get all the colors worked in here with our little dabs of color here and there, it does start to look like we're looking at leaves from a distance, like in a forest. So maybe I'll dab some red in there now. Got my red paint going. Just gonna put that in some places here and there. It might stick to the table, so you wanna kinda pull your page up to move down to where you wanna put your paint. So I'm dabbing in some red now. And it really looks like those fall leaf colors for now. All right. And you can go on top of colors you already had. When you do that, it kind of makes a new color. All right. I've got some red, some orange, some yellow. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of green here and there, where some green leaves might be. Like I said, as you kind of layer these, it starts to look cool. Like that's becoming like a greenish brown almost. I'm just dipping in and adding some color here and there. Maybe I'll put some green over on this edge. I don't have a lot of color right there. So again, you can just be mixing them up a little bit, dabbing all around. Maybe you can get some of that purple. So I'm not rinsing my brush. It's like once I dab most of the color off, then I can switch to another color. I can put some purple just kind of throughout. Now I'm not hitting my brush on my paper. We are wanting to be gentle with the tip of our brush and we are just doing kind of a gentle pat. We always wanna make sure we're not squishing the brush bristles because these are the only brushes we have and we wanna treat them well. So I'm just doing kind of a gentle touching and I'm not pushing really hard on my brush. I could add a little bit of brown in in different spots. Kind of filling in this white space I have down here with my brown and down here. This is looking so cool. We have so many different colors. Okay, then once I'm feeling good about that, I feel like the last color I like to add is just a touch of the gold. Just to add a little bit of that shimmer. Now, if you over mix, like you mix it too much, like especially if you start swirling your brush, everything's gonna look brown and you won't be able to see those highlights of yellow and red. So you do wanna be careful, you know, when you're adding these colors on top of each other that you don't over mix. If you mix too much, it's gonna look brown. So I'm just adding a dab of gold here and there, making sure that there is no more white space on my paper. All right, and it looks like I have accomplished that goal. Not any white space left. And so all of this is going to look like a forest. And then I'm gonna take that tape and peel it off next time. So right now I've gotta take this and go put it on the drying let rack to let all of this paint dry before I peel off the tape. 
All right, this thing is all okay. dry now, so we can go ahead and remove the tape. We want to do this carefully because it could rip some of the paper, which isn't a huge deal. You can see it's kind of taking off a little bit of the paper there, but that'll be okay. So we're just carefully removing the tape, slowly but surely, trying not to rip up the paper. How cool is that? There's my first tree. Okay. And now for this bigger tree I had. So it is kind of pulling a little bit of the paper up, but it'll really just add some texture. So I'm not too worried about it. Gently pulling the tape off. Oh wow, there's two of our trees already with this amazing forest in the background. I love it so far. So we're just going along each little piece, gently pulling the tape off. Uh oh, that one broke off on me. Oh, that was my shorter one, that's right. Silly, silly. And I'm going to take this one and gently pulling the tape off. All right. And then once the tape is removed, we can begin to add the texture to the tree. I just have one more and it's kind of really stuck on there. So I'm gonna have to kind of pull it back there. There you are, tape. Amazing, look at how we've got these trees and then we've got this amazing painted background of the forest behind them. I just love it, all the leaves and everything. So now what we're going to do is you're going to get a teeny tiny little paintbrush and you're going to get some black temper paint. And we are going to begin putting the texture of the birch trees onto the trees. So we're just going to very gently get a little drop of paint. And so with birch trees, what I notice is there are certain areas that have almost like this more ovally shape like this. And then there's lots of kind of little lines. And I like to kind of curve those to show the curve of the tree. And so to get these to start looking like birch trees, we're gonna be adding these little curved lines kind of on the edge here. And adding in some of those bigger kind of spots that we see in birch trees when we look at pictures of them. So they have really interesting bark. Their bark is very light, almost white. And then they have little pieces where it's kind of textured and kind of peels. And so we're trying to create that by painting the little black lines and speckles onto our trees. We can kind of put that texture along here. And we can put some of those little round kind of knots in the tree. And then we're just adding some of those lines as well. All right, I got one tree completed so we could kind of see what it looks like. Um, I think it's really helpful to look at pictures of birch trees and kind of see that there's like these little kind of knots and grooves and little spots and then there's like little parts of the bark where it kind of has lines through it and that can help you with designing your own patterns on your trees. 
I find that it's kind of easier for me to put the little spots kind of throughout and I'm just kind of tapping my brush because I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to be more of an organic shape and not just like a really um, exaggerated circle. So I'm just kind of putting that little knotty spot there by making some dots in an organic round shape. And then once I have those on, I started putting some of the smaller ones in. So I saw that there's also some smaller little spots on these trees. So you can go through and put some of those on. And then I like to take my brush and get just a little bit of paint on there to do some of those curved lines. And I try not to make a straight line going across. I kind of pick up my paintbrush to make it more of a dotted. And so I'm just adding in some little lines on both the left side of this tree and the right side of this tree. And then it really starts to show up looking like a birch tree. So we're adding in these little skinny lines and some kind of broken lines along here. I'm trying not to go straight across, but more have a curve, kind of a curve to show the roundness of the tree. So it's like I'm kind of curving in a little rainbow line across the tree. All right, and we almost have another completed tree. And so what you are going to be doing is just continuing to take your black paint and add in the texture and the like lines and spots on your birch trees to make them go from looking like little white sticks to looking like real trees out in a nice fall forest. And these just turn out so cool. I love the way these pictures are coming together. So just kind of take your time. We're not rushing. You're adding little details with your little brush. If you go really heavy lines on this, it won't look as good as if you take your time and you try to do some of the more delicate lines with your paintbrush. These are looking so cool. And then we have all of those fall color leaves kind of exploding behind the tree trunks. It just looks really great. All right, I think that one's completed. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three trees in that same way, adding in those kind of circle knots and then putting some of the bark with the little lines between and some of the smaller little spots. Once you have taken your black paint and you have added those little lines and dots and details to every tree, then your picture will be completed. And these are just amazing. I cannot wait to see what yours looks like.